welcome back to, um, obviously this is not my channel, this is my sister Joviana Palacio. So if you're not um, new, just so you know, this is Jovi's channel. But I got the honor to be able to get a makeover by her, so I'm so excited for you guys to be here. Hi! <laughs> my channel. Um, so again, this is us doing this video here. So I'm doing my twins makeup. Yes, we are twins. No, we are not identical. She was born first. I feel like we have to get those questions out of the yes. way because it's like the most topic that we get asked. Always. Always. Yes. Uh, but this is the Christmas look right here. She's actually going to a Christmas Eve service. So I did her glam look and it's nice for a change just because we have very different complexions. So I'm going to keep this short because I'm like way over here and we're going to get into how I got this look on her. Stay tuned. Like sticking to the 
brush type of situation happening, which is great. So I'm gonna take one of my, that same buffing brush by The Real Techniques, and I'm just going to buff that into her eye, making sure that it is all even. So I'm gonna set that with some powder. I'm gonna use my Fit Me Boost Setting Powder. I love this guy for underneath the eyes. I love it for setting underneath um, makeup and even primer like this, so this is gonna be great. I'm gonna take out a nice fluffy eyeshadow brush. This guy right here. It's just a real Techniques, uh, what do they call this? It's 200 brush, it's one of their fancier, like, got a stainless coral handle, I love it. So I'm just gonna pat that onto the area on the lid where we put our eyeshadow primer. And that's gonna help give me a good base to work with when it comes to blending the shadows out, I love that. I feel like eyeshadow has to be my favorite part of the makeup. What's your favorite part? Yeah, um, I like the contouring. You like contouring? Mm -hmm. I like rush through everything else but take my time with this. Mm -hmm. Mine is the contouring part. They literally told mine to, at Sephora, like I have a specific amount of time that I'm allowed to be with every client and a lot of the times, like my bosses get nervous and they're like, Joby, you've mm -hmm. literally taken 30 minutes on the eyes. I need you to hurry up. But I'm like, I got this bro, like I can do the face in 15 minutes, it's not a problem. So um, we are going to a Christmas Eve service and I feel like I'm gonna have to dabble into both of these palettes that I've been using recently. So we're using the Urban Decay Honey Palette, which is this guy right here. And then I also wanna go into the Reloaded Palette, which is this guy. I'm gonna take uh, my first color and my shadow brush and I'm just gonna use this guy right here. This is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill. And we're gonna go into the Reloaded palette, which is this guy. We're gonna use these three colors here to just kind of help blend everything out and get a nice warm crease color. So that's blur, boundaries, and fucked. And always, always shake out the. I knew. You could do this. I knew. Said. If you're wondering what that screen was, that was my daughter. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna go back into this guy, which is our 
primer that we used at the beginning and I'm just going to map out the shape that I want on the actual lid. So while we're doing this, I feel like people are probably asking the same questions I ask us all the time. Are you guys twins? Yes, yes we are. <laughs> are you guys identical? No, we're not. We're fraternal. Who's older? She is. By default, we were a C-section. She got pulled up first. <laughs> but it's convenient now that we're getting closer to 30 because she's 30 for a second. No, it's by default. Um, but I feel like that's like the same questions that we get over and over again. Oh my gosh, are you guys identical? Oh, tell them. I got congratulated at your wedding all the time. Oh yeah, tell that story. Yeah, so somebody just comes up to me and it's like, congratulations. And I look at him and I'm like, thank you. And I'm like, why are you congratulating me? It's like, you're getting married, right? I'm like, uh, no, I don't have a wedding dress on. All right, cool. So once we're done doing that, we map everything out. I use a flat brush to just kind of get her crease going. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the actual brush that came with that collection to help me deepen that outer corner, but I'm gonna go into the other palette. I'm gonna use this guy right here. I'm using browns. I don't want to use black because black is definitely very overwhelming on the eyes. I'm just gonna go ahead and tap that. It's a nice stiff brush that can help me put the color where I want it, and then if I want to blend that out, I can use a completely different brush. But I recommend that if you are using dark colors like I am right now, you want to use a brush that's nice and stiff, short in length, and tightly packed like that because it'll help keep it where you want it and build the color. So this is what we look like right now. So you can see that the color is definitely just in the outer corner and we're building the color as we go. And you always want to start with less and then go in with however, more, however much more you want to add just because you can always add, you can never take away unless you want to start over again, which we really don't. So now we can go into our lid shade and I want to use something very like festive but she's not wearing anything gold or anything so we're going to keep it um, a little more neutral. So I'm going to go into like a pinky, this is called Angel Fire by the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded. It's like a very frosty champagne color almost, it's not pink. applying that with my finger I feel like colors shimmer shades glitter shades really just come off the best when you're applying them with your fingers I don't think that I found anything better and so if you've been following you're gonna notice that there is a weird line happening in this area right here and so what we're gonna do is blend that in so that that line disappears and I'm gonna use that same brush we used to apply the inner corner shade and I'm going to take um, Distill that's also in the Naked Reloaded. And this is still a shimmery shade, so it's going to help kind of blend everything together. But it's going to take away that weird line. It's going to diffuse it. It's going to blend it. The shimmer just kind of help bend the light a little bit. But then it's also going to give it a gradient effect. So it's not so harsh looking. Okay, great. So this is what we've got. Eyes are done. I'm going to do the mascara and the liner, the lash and lash, just because I want to be comfortable. We do the rest of the face. We're going to go into the rest of the face. So Vio has very dry um, skin. There's some pores that I can see, but for the most part, her skin is dry, but we still like full coverage. Um, and because she is going to be with cameras and lighting, I still want to do something that's going to be matte, more matte than I would um, normally go for someone who has dry skin, but we've already started the prep. So she has her moisturizer on. The next things that I'm going to apply to her skin are just going to help me, number one, absorb the product, number two, keep her skin hydrated, and number three, give the appearance of a glowy, dewy finish on the skin. So, first thing I'm going to do is apply this guy all over. This is the Carez H2 Rose Hydrating Face Mist. This guy is just going to help me prep her face. It's going to get the skin ready to absorb the products I'm going to put in. After I go in with that, I'm going to do this guy right here. So this is my favorite product. You guys know that I like this all over the skin. This is the MAC Strobe Cream. I love this so much. All right, so for the pores and the center of her face, I'm actually gonna go into, work with me here, this guy. 
So this is the Tatcha Primer. I love this for filling in pores. I also love it for smoothing out texture. Not that she has a lot of texture, but I want something that's gonna help with the pores and not mattify or dry her out. So this makes an insane difference in this area here in the center of the face. Later for a while now, it's been this hair right here. So it is the Born This Way Foundation. So it, oh, there it goes. So it's a Born This Way Foundation. She uses the shade in Natural Beige. But I also have been loving the Smashbox Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. I feel like it's appropriate for situations like this. So I'm gonna mix the both of them. And lay it down first. I'm gonna apply it with her finger. And guys, don't be afraid of using your fingers on your clients. I mean, wash your hands, obviously. But this really just lets you feel out your client's skin. It lets you know what you're dealing with. Especially if you're maybe not used to doing someone else's makeup and you're newer to this, you're just trying, starting it out. You definitely want to feel the textures on your client's skin. You want to know what's going on. Because it's, it's, I mean, looking at someone's skin and actually feeling it are two completely different things. And there are some products that you might not use that you thought would have been okay once you kind of have an idea of what's going on. So I just want to give that tip to you guys because for the longest time I thought being professional and using brushes and not touching people with the pants because that's gross but honestly I've come to find out that regardless of how many brushes you use and how good the brushes are there are just some things that are not as good as using your fingers. Alright so I buff and build coverage with this and then I'm going to go in with my beauty sponge. The beauty sponge is going to help me push this further into her skin, but the beauty sponge also is damp, so it's going to add moisture, it's going to add hydration, it's going to help this just soak up. You always want to push the product into the skin. You honestly don't ever want it sitting on the skin. You want it to look natural, and of course it has to do with product as well, but it also has to do with application. So I love just coming in and bagging things up with the sponge. It just always helps so much. All right, so the second thing we're going to do is go in with concealer. And I'm actually going to try my trick out with Bio because I feel like I'm going to use this guy right here, which is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. It's in the shade news. It's going to be perfect, so look up for me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it sit under her eyes. I'm going to lay it down first, and I'm going to let it sit and kind of dry there so that we can have more coverage without having to use too much product. Have you ever done that? Just kind of let it sit for a minute? No. So I was watching a YouTube video uh, by Harouche, who is, I think Harouche is, she's one of the Kardashians, she's actually Khloe Kardashian's makeup artist. Yeah. And so what she said she does on her clients is she will lay down the concealer and she will let it sit. And it almost starts to dry and get tacky and then she'll blend it out because yeah. the coverage is better, she says. And I have found it to sit better too, so we'll just see what happens. Yeah. So then while that's kind of sitting there, I'm gonna go in with this guy, which is my Milk Flex Foundation. And I have it in the shade Medium Tan, and what I'm gonna do use this for is to contour her up. And I really like the Flex formula, and I feel like for her, it's gonna work really well. So I'm gonna lay it down, and I always do Tragus from the Tragus, which is this part here, forward. And I'm gonna follow her cheek structure and I do a pretty, like a medium thick line. And I'm gonna just lay some down on her forehead as well. So this color isn't super orange, it's not super gray, it is just a nice mix of the two, I feel like. So I'm gonna take that with my BH Cosmetics brush. This is just gonna help me blend things out. And I'm going to blend that up and into the hairline. So you'll see the pretty decent contour going on there. So now that I'm okay with the time frame that we've waited, I'm going to go in and start blending out this concealer. I start with the chin, I start with the forehead, and then work my way to the under eye area just because I want to leave that for last. So when I'm done with it, I can just go right in with my powder. There's no swiping motions necessary at this point. You're honestly just pushing, pushing, pushing. The sponge helps you be gentle. And then whatever's left over, just kind of take it on the tip of the nose, blend that in. I'm gonna take our handy dandy Fit Me Loose Powder and Fair. And my sponge. 
And so again, what I do with this is I pick it up with the sponge and then I push it into the lid here. I wanna break that powder up as much as possible. And then I'm gonna apply it to her. So look up for me and we're gonna start under the eyes. This is kind of like a reverse process from the actual concealer and I'm gonna push. I want that worked into the actual under eye area and not just sitting there. Especially since she does have dry skin. I want to push, push, push as much as possible. You don't want it to just sit there. And I'm not even going to let this sit on her for too long. I'm actually going to just push it in and dust it off. All right, I'm going to use this guy right here. So this is my NYX Highlight and Contouring Palette. I love this palette. It is so good. So I'm going to take my JH05 brush and I'm going to dip into these two colors to start off the contour. And so with the contouring, I don't want to lift anything, so I'm almost just patting it into place. I don't, I don't know, I'm not into the swirling as much these days because I just don't want to lift any of the work that we just did. So we're just going to work that, pack that in backwards, push it into the hairline, making sure that it is just blending and looking I'm gonna stop for a second and I'm gonna use my continuous setting mist right now to set all of my powders by Morphe. And while that is setting, we're gonna go in and do the eyes. Eyeshadow palettes that we've been using and we're gonna do all the same steps that we did up top to the bottom. So look up for me. Right, yeah, so just very lightly smoking that out. It's just gonna go ahead and start to tie everything together her waterline. I want to open this up a little bit. I don't like a super dark waterline on myself and I just like the way that this opens up the eyes. And we're going to go into some mascara now. So I'm going to use the um, Lancome Mr. Big Mascara, I'm going to use that, but then I'm also going to stop for a second and use the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner in Midnight Cowboy because I want a little bit of glitter to the center of the lid so close your eyes. Alright, so lashes are on, like I, this is where I feel like, alright, this was all worth it. You know, I feel like scared halfway through, I got to do my scare, but you can do your like, lower lash and mascara later. Yeah. So I'm going to layer these two highlighters together. So this is the MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish and the Makeup Forever uh, Pro Fusion and the Golden. And I like to layer just because this is that natural skin glow, which I'm gonna give her just because I love this on drier complexions. And we're gonna use it with a brush, um, this guy right here. So this is part of the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Collection. It is just a nice fluffy brush. And I like this with in combination with this MAC highlighter because it just honestly, Wherever it lands, it like grabs the light it's so pretty. And it's very soft and natural. And again, the highlight goes in the shape of a C and then I just add it anywhere where, like the forehead area, and especially if you're drier, have at it. Like if you're oily, please don't do that to yourself, but just have at it if it's like a drier complexion. So you can see, turn this way. It's just a very gentle, subtle highlight that happens right there and that's perfect. So we're gonna go in with a more dense brush tried using this guy and it builds really well. So we're going to go in with this guy right here. This is a BH Cosmetics in Spray Ray collaboration brush number four. We're going to take the Makeup Forever. So I'm going to apply it and turn that way when I apply it so you can see a little better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pat it on and up. And look at how it turned that like subtle highlight into an actual highlight. And I'm just going to leave that one there. We're not going to take it up and make it into a C because I don't want it to draw attention to the wrong spots and turn over this way. We're going to do the same thing here. And it honestly just catches the light so pretty, but I only want it in tense and specific areas. So we're gonna put it there. We can go ahead and turn over. And so the only other place I'm gonna do it is a little underneath the eye area, because it's gonna kind of attract the attention, lift her up a little more, and it's okay if it's underneath the eye. And then on her nose. And with the nose, I'm just gonna use my hand. So what I like to do is I like to apply a very thin line down the bridge of the nose. Just like that. I know we didn't contour, but just doing that created that nice shadow around the highlight, which is like a 
contour, so that's perfect. So for blush, because we are doing red lips, that tends to kind of tail people out, and I'm gonna go into this, which is a blushing by Blushing in Bali by BH Cosmetics, and I'm gonna take their pomegranate shade, which is that deeper tone that's right there. And that's just gonna tie everything in together with the lips, because I find that I, I look so pale after I finish my makeup and I put red lipstick on, and this is just gonna prevent the red from washing her out. So I'm gonna use a nice, loose brush. That's a blush brush. This is uh, by Luxie, and I'm just gonna start right up above the cheekbone and just kind of whatever's left over, bring it down. I want most of the color to be over here. I don't need her looking super blushy, rosy, but you see how I just added that little bit of color, and even that lifts it up, like compared to the other side. All of this is just meant to lift and raise the cheek. Let's just finish getting it ready first. We're gonna go in with another round of the setting spray. Again, we just got done adding more powder to her looks. So we're just gonna spritz a little more. Just. And that is that right there. Mm -hmm. I like it, very pretty. All right, let's finish you up. All right guys, so this is the finished product right here. Look how gorgeous that is, turn that way. I'm turn this way. It's so pretty, it's skin-like, but it's definitely full coverage. I feel like, look down, so you can see the eyes. Like, look how pretty that is. That is perfect, classic Christmas looks. Okay, you can look up so yeah. So this is the finished look right here. It was really fun just getting to deal with someone else's skin for a change, because I'm so used to mine. And even though we are twins, it is completely different skin types. Like, I am almost borderline oily versus her being just drier end. Um, but it's funny because we do have similarities like in the cheekbones and nose areas and stuff. So it's fun. I love doing makeup. I love doing her makeup. I feel like I do her makeup more than I've ever done anybody else's. And it's like the best for me because it's so quick and it's so easy. I feel like we did this in maybe 40 minutes. Um, but we didn't have to like stop and start and all that good stuff. But um, what do you think? How do you like it? Yeah, I love it. I think it looks great. Um, she even doesn't like her guys. So just so you guys know. But I think it looks, yeah, it's a special treatment only for me. But I think it looks amazing. I love it. I always love the way that she does my makeup and stuff. Thank you. All right, guys, so this is it for this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel so that you are made aware of when I do upload more videos. I feel like we're gonna do a little more of this. Like, my niece was jumping around here doing all kinds of crazy stuff, and I know she would die to do my makeup, but I might let her do her makeup just to look my face with her stuff, <laughs> oh, nice. honestly. Yeah. Um, but, so again, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will be posting a few more looks similar to this, just holiday-inspired, more like the New Year's Eve type of look, so I wanna do two. Um, a glittery, soft, glam type of look, and then I wanted something smoky and just blown out. So I feel like those are two of my vibes, like all or nothing, you know? Anyways, so thank you. We'll see you guys next time.